sending the warmest greetings to our fellow Catholics. We are thrilled to welcome you back to our channel. Before discussing today's topic, let us pray, offering our petitions to our Heavenly Father. O Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, your pitiable children, from the fires of hell, please listen to our prayers. We offer you our meager sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring about the redemption of souls in this warning. We implore your forgiveness for sinners who find it difficult to return and embrace your mercy, that they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and make amends before you. Amen. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. Father Jim Bluant, known for his healing ministry and exorcism skills, shares a profound experience that happened on the morning of October 8th. In this story, he tells us how he experienced and received God's love, and also received another divine revelation. He was not sure if he was asleep or awake, but Father Bluant clearly remembers a conversation with our Lord. In today's video, let us explore these amazing revelations together. Father Jim Bluant, said the conflicts will get worse. After a pause, I asked him, Lord, will it start with my mother and my prophet in October? How will it happen? He asked. In the city of the sun in Poland, a dangerous device will explode, causing other nations to go to war. Some will fight out of revenge, others will fight for their allies. This will be the beginning of the Third World War, which will affect the whole world. Not all nations will join, those who stay out will support with prayer, especially from devoutly Catholic nations. As for the end of the war, he saw that it will last for several years but end with Japan's intervention. Japan, a nation wounded by the destruction of two cities at the end of the Second World War, will show the power of forgiveness through a heroic act. They will end this third global conflict. The conversation ended after our prayers. Curious about the revelation, he looked up the details of the city and found a town called Seoul and another called Noah. Seoul also reminds us of Father Jim Blunt's vision on the night of September 17th this year. During this extraordinary event, something unusual happened, revealing a catastrophic event. A soul from purgatory appeared in a dream and gave a message. I come from purgatory. In my earthly life, I was an altar boy. With God's permission, I have come to tell you about a looming catastrophic event that will have a great impact on the world. It will cause great pain to all humanity. But do not be afraid, the Lord assures you that he is with you. Before this event happens, a huge rainbow will appear, visible to the whole world. This rainbow will be a sign, announcing the coming tribulation and giving hope that the Lord is with you. This event is part of the end times. This message confirms what was revealed to Father Allah about the sign in the sky. The Blessed Virgin told Father Allah, that on October 13th, I will give you a sign. The rainbow that he mentions is also mentioned by the visionary of Garabandal. Dear brothers and sisters, we will show you how Father Oliver's message about what Japan will do coincides with Father Allah's message on March 12, 2020. The advance of the next years. At that moment, the globe spun and I saw the numbers 2023 and 2024. Then I only saw war. I saw people watching scenes of war on television. Then there was a jump in time on the globe. 
I saw the numbers from 2024 to 2029 pass by and a great light appeared in the sky. I understood that there will be conflicts or problems until 2029. In that year, there will be some sign in the sky. Then I saw that the Japanese flag was raised and people applauded it. I understood, Japan will do something that will not be forgotten, it will do something that will be applauded. Then the globe stopped in 2029 and I saw many people looking at the sky. I understood, in 2029, the world will look at heaven and conflicts and wars on earth will have to stop. On February 26, 2022, intuition about war before mass. The scene of a future war that I had seen on March 22 came to my mind. I had a very strong intuition to ask God if what I had seen about 2023 regarding war would happen. The answer came when I went to church. The father says that he was at mass when he lifted up the chalice. He could see through the windows behind him flashes of light like explosions, the door was closed, outside it was dark, and through the windows he could see lights like a big storm, it was war outside. During prayer after Mass, I asked God again if there would be war in 2023. The answer was, the war started in 2020, it is hidden, it is not obvious, the situation is not and will not be worse because my mother intervened, so live every day of this year with joy and hope, because from next year you will see what I showed you, places of worship and deep devotion will resist better this time because my angels will be ready for battle protecting those places, God forbid maybe this year war between countries begins. In this last part of this video we will show you the message given to Father Lucas about the possible attack by Russia on Poland, the country where Father Lucas lives. Let us listen to an excerpt from the message of our Lord Jesus Christ given to Father Lucas on September 8. My dear son, the Polish nation is in danger and exposed to war. The current actions of the ruling authorities are provoking the enemy's anger and hatred, and this is making them prepare for an attack. The Polish government must stop all actions to protect Poland. Every decision of the ruling authorities is very important, as it can lead to bloodshed, hunger, fire, and war. My son, the time has come for the whole Polish nation to kneel down and pray for peace. So far, these messages about what may happen this year and in the following years call us to pray for peace, peace for the nation of Poland because there could be a catastrophic event. He calls us to kneel down in prayer and above all not to be afraid because fear does not come from God. Everything is in God's hands and He will take care of us. Let's get ready with the sacramental candle, blessed scapula, miraculous medal, Saint Benedict medal, blessed water and salt. The divine message urges us to deepen our commitment to prayer and not fall into indifference. It is a powerful call to action from the spiritual realm that urges us to take more responsibility in our spiritual journey. We are reminded that prayer is not just a ritual but a sincere and heartfelt connection with the divine. It invites us to open our hearts, pour out our worries, express gratitude and seek guidance from the higher power. This heavenly communication invites us to recognize the importance of our prayers and to engage with them wholeheartedly. It emphasizes that every prayer has immense power, capable of influencing our lives and the world around us. Through prayer we connect with a source of strength, hope and love that allows us to face life's challenges with a sense of purpose and resilience. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell button to receive notifications when there's a new video. May your moments of adoration before Christ's presence be filled with His grace and love. 
May you find solace and strength in his embrace. Amen.